going up and up, it's magic. With the gang, we ball out, it can't get tragic. All we got, we gon' let you, let you have it. Stuck in my ways, think I need to change my habits. What would you do if you were me and didn't have it? Look in the mirror, now I'm feeling like a savage. Tell my son I love him for him, I'ma make it happen. Now my dream's reality, not going back to back to back. You say that you proud of me, I turn my back, you laughing. Now I hit the scene, they like lights, camera action. Living in a dream, now my music, they be blasting. Step out, I'm a star, always in the latest fashion. Had to set the bar, bar try to catch me lacking. Bank account for my son, he won't have to struggle. You can see it in my eyes, all I do is hustle. They tried to knock me off my feet. Hey everybody, it's the coach, and this is Monday night. So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. On first and 10, Pack got a man open. That's Devontae Parker complete. And they work this well upfield across the 45. Good work after the catch. Going to net him 23 and a first. Quarterbacks love slant routes because the receivers are breaking right into their line of vision. And receivers love them as well because they're getting the ball on the move and able to catch it and try and get upfield and gain additional yardage. Back to throw. Pack. That's caught by his big tight end, Mike Kosicki. Another strong gain on the last two plays. They've moved it a combined 33 yards. So second in inches after that first down completion went just shy of the marker. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. A first down there on a pickup of 25. Probably mean to jump in on you, partner, but they didn't waste any time getting downfield, did they? I mean, a nice big play there. Three plays, three successful plays in plus territory. Now this defense on its heels a bit. It seems like they had something targeted there, doesn't it? It's like, okay, we've got a matchup we like coming right out of the gate. Let's go ahead and get right to it. This is Kenyon Drake, the fourth-year man from Alabama. And he will take it in for a Dolphins touchdown. Kenyon Drake, his 14th touchdown now on the year. And the Dolphins take it right down and score on the opening drive. Brandon, my man, just one sentence for that one. And we drop you into the start of this next possession. The score, 7 it up. It up. It up. They'll start the drive with Drake. And he'll run straight into a wall of tacklers at the line of scrimmage. It's second down. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. A handoff to the right side. It's Drake. And he'll get this one across midfield and down into Steeler territory. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll set up a third down. From the gun on third down. Pat. There he goes, right side. And all the way in for a Miami touchdown. Kenyon Drake with his second touchdown in this opening quarter. And the Dolphins are able to extend that advantage. So we are in the final minute now of the first half as this offense gets ready to take over. Drake will start the drive on the ground. And he's going to get a good gain of nine here up to the 34. 
Well, Kenyon Drake, he was kind of underutilized last year when Adam Gase was head coach, only seven starts, but now he's going to get a chance under new head coach Brian Flores to really showcase his talent. He certainly flashed his diverse playmaking abilities a season ago. Nine touchdowns, and that's caught inside the 30. And he will take it in for a Dolphins touchdown. Kenny Stills. His Let's second go. touchdown on the season. And the Dolphins are able to extend that advantage. He put quite a bit of air underneath that. So now this offense will take over and they will have the football at their own 20-yard line. On first down, Pack. It's complete. Stills. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. That one good for 13 at a Dolphin first down. To win any route, you've got to break down the defender. And that's exactly what happened here on this really nicely executed curl route. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. From the gun, it's Drake. And an alley to run. Look at this, middle of the field, a breakaway. And he'll take this into the end zone for a Dolphins touchdown. Kenyon Drake on his way to a monster game. Three first half touchdowns. So we are in the second quarter now as the offense gets set to take over. They've got it first and 10. Watch 98, 98 to Mike. Here we go. On first down, Drake. And he'll take this for about four up to the 46-yard line. This guy's well on his way now to a big game on the ground. It's another good run there. Puts him over the century mark in yardage. And we're still in the second quarter. To throw on second down. Pack. They're complete. This is Albert Wilson. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. Give him 15 yards on that one, and the Dolphins have a first down. Slant route's effective no matter who's running the route and catching the ball. But when you have a receiver of that stature, you have to be a little bit more precise throwing it. You don't have the same catch radius with the bigger targets. Throwing on first down. Pat and Dwayne Allen on the ground. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Give him nine there on the first down completion. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. A reminder coming up just a few minutes from now, we'll send you to Jonathan Coachman and our crew in Orlando. Coach will have a look back at some of the stats and scores from yesterday's action. Now a draw play with Drake. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Give him 12 yards there, and the Dolphins have a first down. We both know it's difficult, but they've made it look effortless out there. Through the air, on the ground, they've moved the ball with relative ease. If there was one area that the coach emphasized in our pregame meeting, it was red zone offense. In a sense, I got from it, and I think you did as well. They weren't real happy with how they were executed. And Stills has got it. Touchdown, Miami. Kenny Stills, his second touchdown of the game, his third on the year, as his guys continue to pour it on. We pick it up second quarter here as the offense gets ready for the drive. On first and 10, Pack. And this is Parker, complete. And they'll get this to the 30-yard line before crossing over out of bounds. That one goes for 24 yards. And with that completion, he's now north of 200 yards here in the first half. Boy, a tough start for the secondary defensively. It is, and it's got to put a dent in their confidence. And, you know, you always want to keep that up and feel like you can always bounce back after plays. But with the kind of numbers he's putting up here, it's starting to wear on them a little bit, I think. So they're looking at each other and trying to figure out what defense will work and how can they play better 
without getting beat deep for big passes. Defensively, celebration time because they finally forced an incompletion. He was perfect throwing the ball to that point. Yeah, but from his viewpoint, they didn't force the incompletion. He just missed. That's how hot he is right now. And that's how he wants to continue to throw the ball. He completes it to Wilson. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets this down about the 21 or 22. Came up a little short on the last pass play. They did get nine yards out of it, leaving him with his third and one. Running from the shotgun with Dre. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. Now the Steelers use the first of their three timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Sanders' kick is good. And they're sitting pretty now as the lead grows even further. So he splits the uprights and has to be a nice feeling right when it left his foot. So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. The final second ticks by, and that's going to do it for the first half of play. So we've reached halftime here in what is quickly turning into quite a rout. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. We'll get back to you and Charles in a minute. But first, time to give the folks at home a look at what's going on around the NFL. We'll get started over at Mercedes-Benz. Well, why don't we hold off on the halftime update after all? Seems like everyone's ready to go here for the second half in week eight in the NFL. Forecast calling for more of the same. The rain set to continue as we are underway in the second half. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25. So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. On first down, Pack, it's complete to Drake. And they work this well upfield across the 45. And a nice gain of 21 yards. We can talk all we want about football being a game of strength and brawn. It's also a game of mismatches, and they're trying to create one there, getting it to their back out of the backfield to make a bigger play. As we often say, get it to him in space, let him use his leg. Yeah, if, if he can get a matchup against a linebacker, or maybe a defensive end dropping out in a zone blitz, he's going to win that battle just about every time. Now a stoppage here as it looks like we've got a Dolphin shaken up on the play. We'll check on his status when we get back. Now the former fourth-round pick, it's Kalen Balazs. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. And this is why aggressive defensive coordinators love to blitz. It wreaks havoc because they end up taking their attention to the blitzers, freed up the D linemen to make the play. On third down, Pack caught by Wilson. And he's out of bounds as he gets this down to the 45. They get seven there, but it brings up fourth. Whether you're playing West Coast offense or not, one of the maxims of the West Coast offense is you're either throwing a touchdown or a check down. In other words, look for the big shot, but be smart. I think they did exactly that on that play. They didn't get the first down, but they're taking care of the ball well. Yeah, and being rightly cautious with that lead here in the second half. They're able to keep the drive alive seven yards that time, and the decision to go for it proves to be a good one. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. Balazs. And this time not as successful as he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. Off the play fake, Pack. That's complete to his tight end, Mike Kosicki. And all the way in for a Miami touchdown. Mike Kosicki, his first touchdown on the year. 
as his guys can... Now the offense back out onto the field as they'll take over here in the final minute of this third quarter. The drive will commence with a run by Belage. And give him six yards here as he stopped near the 35 at the 34. Back now in Pittsburgh. And this is a blowout so far as we get set for the fourth quarter. A very one-sided affair. On second down, it's Drake. Seven yards there at a first down. Now on first down, Drake again. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. 18 big yards on that one, and a Miami first. Uh, he's still rumbling, isn't he? Still looking fresh in this one despite the heavy workload. But you and I both know, well conditioned, and he did tell us that he thrives on being at his peak late in ball games. Throwing on first down. Pack. A short throw taken in by the tight end O'Leary. That throw good for four. It's second down. And partner, I think that's a great example that not all tight ends are created equal. Because everything was right. Got the completion. But he's not one of the more dynamic guys in the league. So even though he caught it, couldn't turn it into much more. Four yards on that last completion. So that sets up second and six. Now Belage. And he's going to get this inside the 30. A 10-yard pickup, and it's enough for a Dolphins first down. Well, you know me, partner. I never tell him to back off of being aggressive, but sometimes you see the consequences when you're overly aggressive and you don't secure tackles. Guys break through. Trying to sell out to pry that football loose, and just as you said, cost some yardage. Yeah, you got to go get him. Stand him up first before you go for the ball. Don't just go for it initially. First and ten. Pack. Short throw taken in by the tight end O'Leary. The completion good for three and it's second down. That first down completion only netted him three. Second and seven. They'll run with Drake. They get him to the ground right on the cusp of the red zone after a pickup of five or six. Bottom line, they want to keep this clock rolling, so they'll take that one right there. They just want to keep falling forward, and they want to put the onus on the big fellas up front in order to bring this one home. Stills complete. He went over 100 yards in the wild card round. He's over 100 here as well. And a first down. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one sided affair. So the Dolphins have it as we welcome you back in. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Now Drake. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. Finally, defensively, they have a little clip to show positive for actually stopping him running the football. It's been a really long night for them, hasn't it? So they get a little bit of a win there, but let's face it. The vision that he's had running the football has carried his feet to the open spaces and the big yardage all night long. He lost two there, and it's third down. So first and second down went the wrong direction. They'll try to do better here on third and 13. Check, check. Fresno, Fresno, Fresno. Mike 55, Mike 55, Mike 55. 
Running, it's Drake. They do get 12, but they'll be marked short. And that leads to a fourth down. A lot to praise on this drive, obviously. I, I know you're seeing what I'm seeing. Those guys up front, they're getting it done. Doesn't matter what play is called. They are handling their business at the line of scrimmage and dominating right now on this drive. So it's three more points, and that widens this thing out even further. So this offense will head back out there. Already an excellent field position thanks to the interception. They run it with Balazs. He'll get the first down and more inside the 20. And he's going to get it down to the 14-yard line. 17 yards for the Dolphins there as they've got themselves a first down. Charles, it's one thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. Boy, were they clicking on offense. They can't help but feel great about themselves, can they? I mean, what a game to put up that number of points, continually feel like they're moving the ball and things are working and clicking. They think that they can bottle this and carry it with them. And as an offensive coordinator, you just don't think you can do anything wrong. Whatever you call, run, pass, it's all going to work. That's called being in the zone.